Hello folks, you've been made to wait for this. So let's hope it's worth it. Welcome back. Hello folks, great to see you again. Genuinely really good to see you again. Uh, the things that have gone on since we last met. I do, do you know what, viewers? i pff, not got the time, but I'm here. Hello. And I'm hoping to have a video out today, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, to make up for the lack of stuff. So, here we go. Are you ready? Let's jump straight back in. Splash. It was a swimming pool of football. Now, look, since we last met, nothing's happened because we played against Tottenham in the 3-3 penalty shootout game. You remember it? Of course you do. It was great. And it means that we're still in the FA Cup. We've got Plymouth to play tomorrow. So look forward to that. But today, we're going to focus on Ajax in both legs of our Champions League knockout stages. We're finally here, viewers. So nothing to really update you on other than the team for the first game against Ajax then away from home in Amsterdam. Ramsdale, of course, will be in goal. Back who are either side of Torres and LaCroix, Rice, Bellingham, McAllister, Dybala one side, Budget the other, and Isaac through the middle. Hello, viewers. Just to be just to be clear, so there'll be some of you that are worried, thinking, oh my god, he's not loaded for ages. I thought this series was dead. It's not dead. Just moving house and then other things. That, Doug's got chicken pox as part of the problem. Loads has gone on, viewers. As I was about to record today, he started playing the kazoo, which I wanted to be like, oh, stop playing the kazoo. But then remembered I've been playing the harmonica for uh, two years without warning. So I can't really ever go at anyone, can I? Oh, Ben, I still love it when you should do that Diego thing. Why don't you do it anymore? Diego. Diego, good times. That was the last Glory Hunter, by the way, we did that. Uh, the first one, remember that? Yep, four and a half years ago. <laughs> Where did the time go? Four and a half years ago. Jesus. Right, let's get into the game then. We should be beating Ajax. Again, this is a competition I still think we are capable of winning, but let's try and prove that right now. We play Leicester in between these two games in the Premier League as well. A game I'm not as bothered about. So let's see what sort of performance can we put in? What sort of statement can we make? And hopefully... Oh, I forgot about this. Every time it catches me out. And we know the lyrics now. I've not forgotten. The I'll, I'll spare you all, but it's... Oh, my God. It's, it's still from the penalties. That's how you know I've not played since. All right, Ajax aren't a bad team. In fact, let's just take a quick quick little gander at Ajax's team. See who they've got in there. Danjima plays. Uh, tell, well, we sold Danjima to uh, to Ajax. We, 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 of course, had him once upon a time. There's McAllister. There is Pau Torres. Only his fifth goal of the season. I mentioned it in a few episodes ago that the update the football manager made recently uh, really harmed headers. But it's not enough, clearly. Pau Torres on the score sheet. Ajax nil. Newcastle won. A lovely delivery from McAllister and rising above what he's five players Pal Torres makes it one nil away from home yes now come on then now we're talking the champions etc Tadic maybe Ajax have got a chance from a corner of their own as it's played in but headed clear quite comfortably it must be said there's Declan Rice all the way back to Ramsdale and now um yeah a little bit of patience a little bit of calm needed I'll tell you what in tight spaces there we've done exceptionally well Ajax have been made to look like fools but this is of course what happens when a team get on as well as my boys do is Isaac finds Bellingham, big chance for him. Hey, Jude, make it 2-0. Score a good goal, make the result better. Remember? Yeah, anyway, yeah, it's 2-0. We're, we're winning. It's, yes. Lovely ball from Isaac. Bellingham as the attacking midfielder today. I just switch it around all the time. Sometimes it's McAllister. Sometimes it's Gamares. It's even me Declan Rice at times. Um, today, Jude Bellingham, and that's why. Unbelievable goal. Really, really nice. 2-0 then, and uh, yeah, looking really good. All right, Ajax nil, Newcastle 2. And uh, yeah, our half time's been and gone, obviously. Very, very simple for us. I don't know who the manager is of uh oh alfred through that I, 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 he is he the current manager of Ajax? oh god i'm really showing a lack of knowledge here honestly ten hag left and i've got no idea what happened to Ajax. no idea i feel like if you know about Ajax, though you can claim it's like when dortmund were good under Klopp years ago you can claim you watch loads of international or european football uh bellingham on that side played back to baku if he can swing the ball in lots of options isaac's there and that maybe should have been three nil of course, don't forget, no away goals in the Champions League these days. Um, you've got to say, look at the performance. They've brought El Neni on in the centre of midfield. Uh, Ajax really struggling to get anything going. The Bar's having a pretty slow game for us, though. It must be said. Maybe their uh, left side is where the most likely result will come from if uh, Dybala is not necessarily involved at all. Ball flicked forward. Paul Torres again gets his head on it. But we've got to get back and defend. Madrid sort of goes with Yuri and Timber, who's still at Ajax, actually, at this late stage. And there's a former Newcastle man, Arad Danjuma, with the goal. And Ajax, I did say 
striker from the left side, uh, Dan Jima with the goal. Yeah, it's sort of left side, wasn't it? I mean, they've crossed it in from the right-hand side. We've not really covered it properly. We didn't shift across very well either, it must be said. And um, yeah, Dan Jima against Bakio. Pretty fair fight, you'd say. Dan Jima comes out on top. Mudrik, if he can find the runners. He's actually, he's going to run it himself, actually. Again, a few options inside. Goes to Mendy, who I've not really seen get forward that much, actually. I must say, he's, like, he's not really about that, as that's a wonderful effort. Who on earth was that? Shooting with his left foot from there. I don't know if it was either McAllister or Rice, I imagine. Unbelievable effort. There's Jude Bellingham. Again, it could have been another one. Some big chances. Hitting the woodwork all over the place. In fact, we can see how often have we hit the woodwork. Uh, let's just click that there. Twice. So those two times are the only two times. We were flipping close. A goal late on now, as I probably should have made substitutions, but again, can make them. I'm going to take a little bit against Leicester. Not really care what happens against Leicester, it must be said. Declan Rice, a great time to score. Dybala's there. And he headed just over. I probably should have taken Dybala off ages ago. Even maybe Budrick as well. And uh, this is going to be the final chance to see it. It's going to start with Aaron Ramsdale in our goal. And let's see what he can produce as he launches the ball forward really high along. And Isaac nods on. Nods on and actually, there's a, not quite an overload, but it's very evenly matched. And with the quality we've got in those areas, Isaac's going to let the ball run. Good refereeing. I mean, it won't go back for the penalty, will it? No, it goes for a corner. We were definitely fouled. But the chance that Isaac had was deemed so good, they played the advantage and we squandered it. Closer than any penalty would, that would have been. And there's Paul Torres heading over again. And uh, yeah, it's been chaos as the game does continue. And just when you think the highlights are over for the game, no, there's one more. Jude Bellingham hurried off it from a resurgent Ajax. They know taking the 2-2 all the way to St. James's Park could be massive. Back who goes in behind for a tackle that eventually is, is deemed legal by the referee. And then there's McAllister out towards Woodrick. Great touch. No, not quite, actually. It's going to be Ajax that bring it forward again. Down the line. Back and forth. The last five minutes of this game have been fantastic. And I didn't make a change. Mainly because I was only 2-0 up and I didn't want to lose 3-2. So I didn't make any substitutions for this. You might be thinking, oh, don't, why is that, Ben? Why are you so paranoid? History. That's why. And there we are then. Ajax 1, Newcastle 2. It's a good result. And again, look at the XG there. Ajax haven't really done a whole, much, a whole deal. And we arguably, towards the end of the game, based on that graph there, definitely should have got another goal. But regardless, we'll take the win and we'll see them at St. James's Park next. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you the result of the Leicester game just before we play the second leg. So here we go. Do you know what the thing is with the Leicester re result? It doesn't matter, actually. It's not important because what I want to focus on is the Champions League and the FA Cup. So I'm not... Don't worry about the league. Don't worry about the 2-1 defeat to Leicester. Oh, get me out. I rotated. I shouldn't have rotated. Never rotate. Always play the best eleven. Never make substitutions. They're the rules I live by. Let's play the second leg. 2-1. Mitrovic scored. Um, Isaac back in today, though. So, hello, Alexander. <coughs> Alexander Isak. Isak. Isaac. I don't know. All right, then. Here we go, then, against an, again, an, an Ajax team that weren't that great in the first leg. Let's face it. We probably should have scored a couple more. It's it again. It's Excessive. It's too much in one day, viewers. It's too much. Skip, skip, skip. Oh, like you can't. It's a mystery. Sometimes it stops, sometimes it doesn't. What are the rules here, viewers? But if you score while the music's playing, the distraction levels for the assistants, the referee, the players. I mean, at least at least the crowd are singing it, aren't they? Da -da -da. Climax viewers. So annoying. McAllister though, corner. Where's he gonna aim it for? Pal Torres! Oh, never mind. Last season I could have short I should I should have called him Power Torres, shouldn't I? But too late now. Uh, it would have been good for last season because he's got he's got 20 goals. Uh, Jude Bellingham racing forward though as he holds it up. Two players have come towards him. Baku into Mudrik and it's cleared away by Ajax who now you've got to think this is what the game's going to look like. I was camped in the half. So that's, he's flown in there. There's Taylor. I mean he's absolutely he's been set up. Taylor, Taylor's gone. It was a not a, a thing is right. It wasn't a bad tackle really. It was quite assertive. That that is that is modern football at its core. It's vicious, actually. I take it back. Should have been two red cards. Good grief. Now, for real though, if the water if it's wet, if the surface is wet, then that's fair enough. I don't want to say that's Ajax's hopes of going through gone. Um, but they've got a throw in here. We're gonna we're gonna praise the team because you can't encourage when you're two one up, even if it's just on on legs. No idea why. Um Dan Jima goes forward. A big chance for them actually. And I'm hoping that's the best chance they have for the whole game. Now, notoriously, viewers, 10 men are harder to beat on football manager than 11. Uh, they, they, that's, again, no proven fact. I've not done an experiment. Um, just the vibe I get. And that's what I go by. Of course, the first rule of vibing is you never mention that you're vibing.
Okay, because if you mention you're, you're not vibing, you just want it. You're hoping to vibe, you're not vibing. Mudrick now then uh, plays it inside. Sick. He's got lots of options to his right hand side if he wants to find one, and he chooses the goalkeeper. That's not one of the ones I wanted. You're in Timbers got off injured as well, so Hasselbaugh comes on. It's not a bad replacement. It's actually a pretty good bench option for Ajax. As there's Declan Rice, the baller. Didn't we really see him at all in the first game? And that's probably why. At what point do you drop him? Well, maybe never. De Bala now in on goal and flicks it towards goal. It's, it's I think it's saved and then cleared. It looks it looks strange from the angle as the cross goes in and why would we want to see the outcome of that so moving on does football manager annoy you ben yes every day well every day i make videos on it they're a man down but don't let your performance levels drop yes I, but i didn't gesture very important a gestureless i don't know how do you how do you how are you, how are you gestureless just pop an ipad in front of your face just so they can't see it don't let the performance levels drop guys come on sorry well did i i missed that there well a gesture of celebration from me there, viewers, as we take a lead. I mean, I'd be slagging off the bar. Like, if this was good, I'm going to be even more annoyed. Of course, you've seen this. I haven't. One touch, little touch there, and then it's a really nice goal. And I was behiding, hiding behind an iPad, which, ugh, it's a bit annoying. But I, I guess, look, management teams do have iPads now, don't they, on the on the, on the the uh, the bench, so they can look at the... The situations as they go on you know replays and all that so let's pretend that's what i was doing as isaac goes in there's bellingham as it trundles into the back of the net a really unconventional goal but we'd love to see it isaac probably should have scored in fairness but there's bellingham again on hand as he pulls up his socks to say i'm ready for more and it's newcastle two ajax nil but 4-1 on aggregate lovely stuff from dabala since he's got his goal now he's playing even better isaac there go round him boss what are you doing bellingham with a lovely finish and again 2-0 done Dun 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 McAllister from 30 yards. No chance of this going in. And it's a really good save. Now is this the point? McAllister's on a yellow card. Do we get him off for someone like Joe Willock? Sure, why not? Ajax I Ajax will have forgotten that Joe Willock even plays. So this is gonna baffle them. Dabala on the corner. Of course, McAllister taken off. And there's, ooh, nearly LaCroix at the front post. The Dabala LaCroix combination whenever McAllister doesn't play is not quite as good as Paul Torres and McAllister, but it's not far off. You just don't see it very often. As Paul Torres is on a booking as well, 6.4. Isaac, lovely first time pass to him. There's Dabala. And, uh, well, it's another corner. It's going to be Dabala to LaCroix. Let's see this time. You can see there LaCroix then front post. He's a big lad. Good jumping ability. And Dabala, we know he can whip them in. And this time headed away quite comfortably. I forget anything as before. Not as good. Is he offside there as well, the baller? At the tackle, I mean, pointless. Just know the rules. Tell you what, I right, Plymouth are ready. Because we're playing Plymouth tomorrow, viewers. And it's going to be it's going to be electric. Mendy into Rice as uh, the delivery to the back post. The baller can't really do anything with it. Back in one hand, though, to put it back into the centre. And at the back post, there's a man coming in. And, well, I like defending all right for 10 men. Joe Willis, come on. He's complacent. We can get off then, can't he? Joel Linton's coming on. Paul Torres for, uh, for Omobama Deli. Sure, Omobama Deli loves, loves a substitution and he loves a header for uh, having come on as a substitute. So let's see if he can produce that for us now. Also, Mudrick's had a pretty quiet game. So uh, St. Maximin's come on at left wing for the final five minutes or so. Look at me making substitutions with a three goal advantage over two legs. Come on! Declan Rice, 20 yards out. There's Joel Linton. Oh, my, never mind. Joel Linton, Clard, uh, Clard's cards. Oh, I ruined it. Shouldn't have done it. Well, you know, hang on. Is, is, let, me just, let me just do a joke. I've never done this before. I've never prepped a joke quite like this. Oh, no, I was going to say that Ajax are on the bleach, but it's not technically a bleach. It's just a cleaner that dissolves. Oh, it's bleach. It's bleach. Oh, hang on. I'll do it then. Hang on. The problem is, right, we're at the point in the game now where Ajax are clearly on the beach. <laughs> it's a clean... It's a, honest, like, it is. I'm not making it up. It is a real It is a real bleach. So, it... Oh, have you missed me? Uh, the gate the gate is over i've had 30 shots with one right one game done though one tie down and now of course we're going to face someone much better and i'm frankly petrified the last 16 provides no shocks so people expect us to go through at uh, the draw for which though coming up shortly so stay tuned viewers here it comes was that the quarterfinals no no last 16 okay so the bit all the big boys have gone through and uh, there were some big ties between quite a couple of quite a, quite a few teams actually i'm just gonna make sure we're well rested for that we're gonna against plymouth because again as much as it's Plymouth, I, I can't afford to lose FA Cup games. Um, as the board are thrilled, by the way, this is officially the latter stages. She's electric. She's got a family full of... You don't need it for the girl, do you? You don't, you don't but we're... Sorry, girls. Uh, right then, let's see. Bayern Munich versus... They've put a lot of bits in Freising, so it makes sense. 
Barcelona. Okay, it's Lewandowski still there. That's fine, but he will be 45. Uh, PSG to play Real Madrid. So we're facing off either Manchester City, Inter Milan or Liverpool. I think we all want Inter Milan here, don't we? So I'm thrilled we've got Manchester City. Thrilled viewers. literally not fair okay great well that's upcoming then two games we almost certainly can't win let's do another draw why not i mean keep the music going sure i am exhausted I, again i don't it doesn't matter they're all terrifying so we'll play against inter or liverpool if we get through against manchester city i'm just saying just end the music then that time just end it as, as i was sort of doing the champions league bit Oh, whatever. Um, there's maybe some fixtures around then. Oh, look at the state of the running now. So, Plymouth to come, of course. We were probably expecting to get through that, which will take us to the semi-finals of the FA Cup. Arsenal, Liverpool, you'd probably expect to get through, but that Huddersfield Luton winner is quite exciting, if we're honest, isn't it? Hopefully, we get that and then give ourselves a real chance at winning the FA Cup. Because if we win the FA Cup, we can maybe think about disappearing from the Premier League. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But lots of action to come later this week. Then, as I mentioned, video is going to be today today uh tomorrow the day after that the day after that four in a row let's maybe we'll go on a streak viewers maybe we'll just go on a run if we keep winning in the fa cup of the champions league i'm just gonna keep going until, until forever more viewers right see you soon take care thanks for watching and i'll see you tomorrow bye bye they're on the bleach because <laughs> they're on the bleach did i say beach before i actually clearly on the beach